What are you guys here for? Uh, we're picking up a uh, silver, my first ever, and uh, very excited. I played a small role in the whole exercise, but uh, I'm part of a team. The question is, what is Ashley here for? To support you and help you. <laughs> the haircut. The main thing. Yeah, yeah, the haircut. That's what he wanted. Okay, what's wrong with you, Josh? It was a gift. So I have to, I have to wear it for... for you say it was a gift? Yeah. So for the past yesterday I was off and I've been working editing all day. Today I'm off again and I'm going to go and try uh, kite surfing if I find a spot. So yeah, that's the plan. Surfing down and walking back up. Now picked up a little bit so I can get a better second session. But I don't have good up wind angles yet. Need to work on that. Good job! Alright, everybody low! Before every race is we uh, do a man of ball drills to make sure that everyone is up to date on this and, um, and yeah we're gonna do this now. So if I sum up um, all the mob drills that I've been doing uh, during the, uh, the, the training for the race and uh, also at each stopover we do um, a refresher sale so that we do mob trainings again and before each race we do a man overboard drill um, so in total i've been doing several dozens uh, mob recovery uh, for the for, for this race um, clipper is super serious with uh, safety and at the beginning it was a bit um, frustrating because there's lots of safety procedures but now i'm really glad i actually uh, put lots of effort into this because it's um, it's a really good practice and and uh, in that case it's not you know the classic oh we just throw a fender and we pick it up uh, with uh, with a boat hook which is m what uh, most people do when they train with um, for uh, for maneuver board and that's also what I was doing before but in that case we uh, always carry on the boats um, uh, Bob, it's a, it's a 50 kilo uh, dummy for, for mob practice. Every time Bob goes overboard, it's, uh, and it's quite often actually, um, we uh, deploy a full uh, man overboard procedure and it's the most achieved uh, I've seen and, and executed to date really. At least one uh, pointer keeps uh, eyes on Bob, another crew throw uh, the pool toys in the water, meaning the IOR flag and a horseshoe boy. Um, there is an IAS beacon that is fitted on the flag. Uh, it's normally uh, disconnected when we do drills, but uh, for some reason um, it managed to uh, trigger itself. <laughs> 
<laughs> so the loud alarm you hear is what would uh, sound in a real case. It's uh, also the alarm that would happen uh, if any of us had their um, life jacket inflate since we all carry an IAS beacon inside our life jacket. All right, let's go, get the diver ready, get the scramble net. Who's on the Yankee Alliot? Meanwhile, one of the crew gets ready to be swimmer, uh, meaning that he's getting a harness on and a helmet. And while this happened, the person at the helm heaves to uh, or coordinate to drop the spinnaker um, with the crew that are in the cockpit. And as soon as there is no more head sail flying, uh, the crew check for line in the water and the engine is started. What's that clear? Engine on blaze! The swimmer goes toward the shrouds uh, where um, a crew member attach him to a halyard. Uh, once we uh, approach uh, Bob, so when once we approach the ca casualty, the swimmer is eased into the water uh, carrying with him a second halyard uh, equipped with a heli strobe and a massive carabiner to hook Bob uh, as soon as he's in reach and, um, and they are both winched uh, back on deck. So that day the, co the conditions uh, were pretty nice and not that much wind. It was probably 15 knots of wind and the, the sea was really calm. We, we did some training uh, with Josh uh, back in the, in the Solent. Uh, I mean, in front of the Solent, we had two meter, a good two meter to three meter uh, traps and um, a solid 30 knots of wind. And um, I'm really glad we did, um, we did, did that training. Um, it's, um, it's giving you lots of confidence uh, about what could happen uh, in the in a real uh, maneuver board case, and uh, and and your, the capacity of yourself and, and the crew to uh, to retrieve a potential casualty. So, um, yeah, uh, I can't emphasize enough. If if you sail to to do this uh, as well as much as you can, uh, sailing under engine. Uh, with the crew that uh, you sail um, often with and uh, that's, a, that's a really good thing uh, to do, not just to think about it, but to actually do it. Stay posted for the next episode, as we dive one last time into the southern latitudes to run Tasmania and head up the east coast of Australia. Okay.